Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about preparing a buffer solution. As we've talked about before, a buffer solution is a mixture of a weak acid and a salt of its conjugate base, such as acetic acid and acetate. We have previously learned that buffer solutions can control pH changes. But how do we prepare a buffer solution? When preparing buffer solutions, two things have to be considered, pH control and buffer capacity. pH control is fundamental to the functioning of buffer solutions. This can be seen in the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. The equation tells us that to control a pH, we must first select an acid with a pKa value near the desired pH, and must have a ratio of acid to conjugate base concentrations that allows choice of the exact pH. This means that phenol is a great choice for a basic buffer as its pKa value is high, but formic acid is not because it is a low pKa value. A buffer is used when the pH must be kept approximately constant when more acid or base is added. Within reasonable limits of added acid or base, the pH should not change. For example, the concentration of formic acid formate ion in a buffer must be sufficient to consume all of the hydroxide ion that is added and still be able to control the pH. Eventually, too much strong acid or base is added and a buffer will lose its ability to maintain an approximately constant pH. Let's look at an example. We are being asked to prepare a 1.0 liter buffer solution with pH 10.0. First, we should consider some acids with pKa values in that area. Phenol is a good choice because it has a pKa of 9.9. .9. Now we must make use of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation for buffers to determine the ratio of conjugate base and acid concentrations. Filling in the values, we can rearrange the equation to obtain the ratio between the concentrations of the conjugate base and weak acid as 1.25. This means that to produce a buffer solution with pH 10, we must add 1 mole per liter of phenol and 1.25 moles per liter of phenolate salt to pure water. Let's check comprehension. 